Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Ashley. I moved to Paris five years ago to pursue my dream of becoming a perfumer, got my Master's of Science in Scent Design and Creation from Isipka, and I now work as an apprentice perfumer at Givadon, which is uh, the largest supplier of fragrances in the world. I do occasional fragrance reviews here. I made a New Year's resolution to be posting weekly, and so if you're into fragrances, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. This video is going to be all about hyper luxe perfumes. Uh, so all these fragrances are about the the price, but also they have to smell good. I think ever since Niche Perfumery took off, a lot of brands kind of decided to push how far they could take their pricing. So all of the fragrances on this list are at about the 500 USD uh, per 100 milliliter price point or more. There's a fragrance on this list that, I mean, more than doubles that, more than triples that, more than quadruples that. So these fragrances can get really, really crazy. This this list here, it's another top five though. It's luxury fragrances that I don't want to say are worth it, but that actually surprised me and I was like, wow, this is something that smells rare, special, truly luxurious. Here I feel like I'm sharing with you what I feel are the best of the best of the hyper luxury fragrance. If money is no object for you and you just want the best fragrance money can buy, you want the exquisite packaging, the storytelling, the materials. And you kind of want that super exclusive price tag then these are the fragrances for you the first fragrance that i'm going to be talking about is liris de fete uh, this is a fragrance that i actually smelled for the first time at isipka for those of you who don't know isipka is a perfumery school and adjacent to it is something called the osmotech and the osmotech is a bit of an archive and they have the originals of many many fragrances and so one of the most uh famous fragrances that they had was this iris uh, the name translated to gray iris i believe by a perfumer from the olden times from about the turn of the century named jacques fat and his line was recently revived and they revived this all fragrance and what was so special about it is that it used real iris real iris butter and for those of you that don't know this is the most expensive fragrance material um, a kilo of iris butter will set you back a minimum of 30,000 I've seen it in um, different houses going for more than $70,000 a kilo. So that is insanely expensive. There are other expensive materials like, you know, like ambergris, like oud, getting a steady supply of them for big houses is much more difficult in the way that you can get a steady supply of iris. So in terms of typical fragrance ingredients, um, less exotic fragrance ingredients, iris really is the most precious material you can work with. And when I smelled the original fragrance at the Osmotech, I was really blown away. It was such a beautiful fragrance. It really uses an incredibly high quality of iris. And so I was very curious to smell this version. Um, I had the opportunity to, and I think the perfumers did an incredible job of matching this fragrance to the original. It smells so rich and so beautiful. Of course, I couldn't smell them side by side, but really just this fragrance on its own. The perfumers did an incredible job. You really smell the quality of the materials. Now this perfume is gonna set, is gonna set you back 1,200 euros, about 1,350 US dollars. Um, but in terms of fragrances that are using high amounts of real iris oil, they do come fairly few and far between. The next fragrance on my list is slightly cheaper, coming in at $785 for 100 mils. We have a fragrance that really blew me away, and it was Amber Oud by Roja Dove. It's such a beautiful fragrance. You have notes of fig, of rose, of ambergris, and of oud. It's really great if you like a sweeter Amber Oud fragrance. It's very incredible. It's very cuddly. It has great projection, but somehow still feels intimate. 
Really, really great fragrance. Next on my list is Mona Di Oreo's Oud Osmanthus. I had a small five milliliter uh, decant of this because I fell so, so deeply in love with it. And I think I got a great deal on this, uh, like on a Facebook group or something. But uh, yeah, this fragrance is $400 for 75 milliliters. It uses real oud oil from Laos as well as a lot of other naturals um, like Elemi and vetiver. And But really the main focus of this fragrance is the oud and the osmanthus. It's really something special. It smells like golden light. I know usually you guys expect more technical language from me, but there's something about the pairing of the oud and the osmanthus. Oud is a very dark smelling material and it really rounds out this bright golden osmanthus to give it another dimension. So instead of making the osmanthus feel dark, it just gives it this other dimension. Osmanthus is very floral smelling. It smells a bit like apricot mixed with like abstract florals. Um, so it's fruity, it's floral. Oud, the oud here, I wouldn't say it's fecal at all. It really smells like a dark, inky wood. And oh my God, to me, it's the best oud osmanthus I've smelled. Probably one of my favorite ouds of all time. Usually oud really sticks out in a fragrance and here I find it's balanced perfectly. Projection, longevity are great. It could really be a signature scent. Um, and so yes, what I wanted to give you guys here was truly luxury fragrances, but also fragrances where it's not something you could also get at a cheaper price point. Really, I feel like this is such a singular fragrance. It's really incredible and really special. The next fragrance on my list is one of the new Amouage Atars. If you haven't seen, Amouage released a new range of 12 milliliter Atals, Atars in Tolas. Um, I believe they're completely alcohol free and just very concentrated versions of the fragrance. And my favorite one was Saffron Amra. It's a beautiful rose saffron. Um, I don't see saffron so often and when I do, sometimes it smells a bit too medicinal to me, like a little bit too band-aid, but here it was paired so beautifully with the rose. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It will set you back $485 for 12 milliliters, um, but it's gorgeous. And if you love saffron and if you love rose, it's at least worth, um, I know they're, I think they're exclusive to Harrods for the moment. So if you're in the UK, you know, lucky you, you you're able to smell it. Um, but it's a really, really beautiful rose saffron scent. Absolutely um, takes you places with the smell. It just really has you imagining, you know, all the voyages that you could be taking if there wasn't COVID right now. And the final fragrance on my list is, of course, the most expensive fragrance on this list as well. And it's Raja Oat Love. It's a warm, elegant, spicy, earthy, slightly floral fragrance. It's a classic sheep, but it is so much more than that. When I first read about this fragrance, I saw the price tag, which was $3,500. Yes, $3,500. It has gold flakes in the fragrance, although Raja wants you to know that they are not worth half as much or near as much what's in the actual composition, which is filled with a bunch of beautiful naturals, all his favorite natural materials. There's rose, there's vetiver, pretty much everything that you can come to mind, everything, every beautiful natural essence is in this note list. It's a very long, complicated note list. And I saw this and I was like, I mean, come on, you know, like, what is this fragrance? It, it, this fragrance can't, I don't know, it's not gonna, it's, I always say when I go into work and I'm really stressed, you know, like I'm not a doctor, I'm not saving lives, you know, like it's still just a perfume as much as we love perfume, how much, how beautiful can it really be? And it, I was stunned. It was gorgeous. It is a fragrance that when you smell it, you're like, okay, I get it. I see why this is $3,500. <sighs> I, it's hard for me to see why any fragrance is $3,500 if I'm being 100% honest with you, but wow, 
Let me know what your favorite Lux fragrances are. There are still a couple I didn't mention, um, just because Raja has a lot of really luxurious fragrances, and I'm a fan of quite a few others, uh, but this couldn't just be like my uh, top favorite Raja Dove fragrances, so I definitely wanted to focus on some other very luxury fragrances as well. So let me know your favorites, and I hope to hear from you guys in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!